Channel 6 Television was on hand for the ribbon cutting and grand opening celebration for the new Lebanon City Hall on Main Street in Lebanon. The ceremony and ribbon cutting were held on Sunday, June the 24th, and Yvonne McNary with Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television had the opportunity to talk to Lebanon Mayor Gary Crenshaw and Lebanon City Administrator John Thomas about the event. Hi, this is Yvonne McNary and I'm here at City Hall today for the great ribbon cutting. How are you doing, Mayor Crenshaw? I'm doing great. It's a little warm outside, but we're all good. Now, this is the day that we've all been looking forward to. Yes, yes it is. It's, it's uh, been a long time coming. Yes, it has. And uh, well, well needed. Yes, well needed. We uh, we run out of space and just a lot of issues at the old building. Uh huh. Okay. Well, this building looks terrific. Were there any? Was there anything that you had on your list that this building actually had to have for you to be comfortable um, with it? Yeah. One of the things was it had to be secure. Uh huh. It had to have uh, what I'd call longevity. Mm -hmm. In other words, had to be built in a way that. Uh, was going to be here for decades and decades and decades. Um, we have a lot more storage now. And the other thing that I really wanted was plenty of conference room space, not because we need it so much here at City Hall, but for the community to use it okay. um, on an as-needed basis. So, okay, so the community can come in and use these rooms, these conference yeah. rooms? Yes, ma'am, they can. And what they would do is call down here and tell us that uh, they would like to use the conference room, the public conference room out here out front. Uh, they come by, we give them a key. When they're done, they walk out and drop the key in the box, and it's simple. You got it all set up then? Yeah, yeah. All right. And everything else is as you would like it? Uh, yes, and I'm going to be honest. Uh, <laughs> other than uh, kind of driving the project, uh, everybody else picked the colors out and how it's going to look. I didn't have anything to do with that. I'd like to take credit for it, but I'm not going to do that because uh, uh, they, they did just a tremendous job, and, and the more I kept my mouth shut, the better it is. <laughs> Listen, how long were you in the old building? Uh, you know, I really can't answer that. I do know I think, I think it was in the early 70s. Mm -hmm. And you guys said how well you shared that building, right? Yeah, we shared it with the Water Lebanon Water Company, and uh, now they have the entire building and they've remodeled it mm -hmm. and uh, created a, uh, a better workspace for where the they can come in and work on stuff and their equipment and all that. Okay, so there's a blessing for them as well. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Yeah. Well, listen, I look forward to using this building. You come in any time. Oh. You're welcome. Oh. Now, tell, the offices are on the first floor, right? All the offices are on the first floor except for the uh, building inspector, which is on the second floor because we've got all the files, all the maps, all mm -hmm. the plats, everything that the building inspector needs up there, plus a workroom for him and, and people that come in that are buying and selling property. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then the city council chamber is up there. Fantastic. Well, listen, thank you so much for sharing with us today. Uh, a momentous occasion. Yeah, City yeah. Hall uh, rip and cutting. And uh, I'm sure we'll be back over here to see you from time to time. Okay, and you're welcome. Welcome to anybody out there that wants to use a conference room. You're welcome to use it. This is Yvonne, and I'm here with John Thomas, our city administrator here for Lebanon in Marion County. How you doing, John? Very well. It looks like it's everything is culminated today and ribbon cutting and it's all over. Yes, it is, and it's turned out very well, and we appreciate everybody coming out to see this beautiful building, and it's an asset for the community for the years to come. Now, John, we've been talking to you about this building since its inception right, here, right. Uh, when it was just a hole in the ground. That's exactly right. And then we came back again and talked to you when it was cold and when it was muddy and uh, <laughs> all types of it weather. Was, it was. <laughs> it we was were. But now it's all come to an end, and yes. you've got your brand new building, your new city hall building. Tell us what you think. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, <laughs> as I said in a previous statement, uh, I finally got a window after 27 years. But uh, you earned it's, it. Huh? It's uh, it's it's a uh, it's a pleasure to come into a, a new facility every day. Mm -hmm. It's much more functional. It's more efficient. It's better at everything to serve the public, and we are, are extremely grateful the, to to the city council and the mayor for having the forethought to. Uh, move down the road to build a new city hall. 
Okay. Now, building this size is very expensive. How did how did we do with that? How did, uh, we, how did we work that? We, we, we came in, uh, the bid was 4380000 and uh, the city put up a million and a half dollars of its own money, mm -hmm. and we borrowed like three and a half million uh, at 2.75 uh, interest rate uh, over a 15-year period. Uh, the financing is great. It enables the, the city to uh, keep some capital funds available for other projects, and uh, it doesn't put a strain on our budget at all. So uh, that's that's a really good thing to, to look at every every year. So, but uh, as far as that goes, uh, you know, in, in 10 or 15 years, we'll have it paid for. And uh, I, I'm reminded of the Center Square project in the park. Mm -hmm. We borrowed money for both of those on 10-year notes, and they're both paid for. So Fantastic. that's uh, we, we can get it done. Okay, now what was a must-have for this building, other than a window for your office? Uh, was to have uh, the ability to be secure, uh, to be more efficient, to have the amenities that are necessary for uh, us to conduct business every day. We wanted a public meeting room so that uh, smaller groups, 10 or 12, could meet during the day or in the evening uh, at no charge, and, and everybody could, uh, you know, uh, feel like it was theirs. Yes. And then, of course, uh, we did some other things with uh, the interior of the building. Uh, we do have a break room now. Uh, and, of course, uh, a staff uh, meeting room, our conference room, to where we can hold our staff meeting, so it works out well. Okay, fantastic. And a lot of room in this building. You can tell it's really spacious oh, because yeah. of all the people walking through right, here. Right, right. And, and uh, we planned it for two stories. We have a couple of spare offices mm -hmm. for future growth if we need them. Okay. And our auditor is occupying one of them right now, so <laughs> I don't know if it's a good thing, but... Uh, it, it, it makes it much more functional. He's not sitting at a big conference table and then we have to move everything every time somebody comes in or whatever. So uh, it, it just lends itself better to uh, meeting the public and, and serving the public. Now for those of us, for those who don't remember, tell us, when did this actually start? When did the, the building... We, we, we bought the property in December of 15. Okay. The planning took place in the early part of 16. We broke ground along about September of that year, and that was after the demolition was done in June. Uh -huh. So it took that long for the planning process and the uh, plans to be approved in Frankfurt so that we could start. And then we, we ran construction about 16 or 17 months uh, till we got completely finished. Fantastic. And today is the culmination day, it's ribbon a, cutting it's outside. Everything. and. Uh, the weather cooperated, yes. a little warm, but it wasn't raining, and it's a beautiful sunny day, and uh, I'm impressed with the number of people who, who came out today. Well, everybody wants to congratulate you because we know that uh, you had that big hole outside your office there for, for quite a while, you yes, know? We did. and now you've got this beautiful city hall then, building. Uh, then we had a green building for a long time, yes. and then it changed colors again, and then we, we got brick on it finally, so it, it was a process. It was so. a process that all of us uh, here in Lebanon, Marion County, and surrounding counties right. as you drive through, oh, you, yes. can, you can see the progress. That's exactly right. Yes, indeed. Well, listen, thank you for chatting with us. I know yes. you have a lot of visitors here. Yes. We want to talk to you, but thank you for chatting with us today, and congratulations. Well, thank you. Appreciate right. it. This has been Yvonne McNary with Central Kentucky Television.